When do most of your vivid memories begin? Okay, tell me more. For me, it's fifth grade. And I feel like that's later than it should be. Oh, well, you see... Looking for a scientific answer? Maybe you should have thought about that before you let me see your video, Chesco. You're getting one whether you like it or not. In the simple answer, Chesco, it's because of the ADHDs. There's a lot of evidence showing that there's a relationship between ADHD and memory issues. And there's a really easy model stemming from Russell Barkley's work to understand why. And there's just two things we need to understand. The first is that memory is an emotional process first. And what I mean by that is if you consider what gets sort of stored most intensely in the brain, it is the memories of things that have a strong emotional value. That's how we sort out what's important and what's not. That's why cute cats on your screen might draw your attention and you might remember them, whereas the color of the wall behind you might not. And then the second is to understand that at its core, that's the deficit or difference in ADHD. At its core, it's not about attention or hyperactivity, but a fundamental difference in how individuals tag the emotional sort of value, we might call it a somatic marker, to the stuff going on around them. In ADHD, those tags are less strong than compared to neurotypical individuals. That's why you see things like hyperfocus, for example, when somebody is doing something because it has emotional value and can't pull away from it to do other stuff because that other stuff's value is too low to pull you away. This matters, those other things just don't. And that's also then why you tend to see memory deficits. You might not see as strong early childhood memories, or you might see difficulties remembering stuff that happened just yesterday as well. Because if those emotional tags are reduced, the memories aren't stored as strongly. All right, that's it, I'll go away now.